And finally, the main event, Kenny Omega, Rich Swan, champion versus champion, title for title, Mauro Ranallo doing commentary, and uh, Callis comes out and he cuts his another great promo. He's doing the introduction. He did the ring, and in, ring introduction. God, Jack and Schmidt, Fez, Vern, and Greg Gagne. Yeah, says. he always says Greg Gagne, and it's like it's like it's this list of all these like uh, you know Harley Race and Dory Funk and Terry Funk and. And uh, Joe Stecker and Luthez and everybody, he names all these like legends of legends. And Vern Gagne, who's you know, fits in that category. And then he he la the last two weeks he said Greg Gagne twice. And I don't know like if there's like some like uh, thing like it's like just like for shits and giggles he always throws Greg Gagne's name in there. Not I mean there's nothing like there's nothing wrong with Greg Gagne. Greg Gagne was a good worker. Um, I saw many very good. Greg it was Gagne, not man. Gotch and Hackenschmidt and Thez and Race and Terry and Dory Funk. No, all of those guys you would say, like if you're doing like a list of the greatest wrestlers of all time, all of those guys are are on the list in a pretty high number. And Greg, you know, is not in the top 200 or, or 300. Um, you know, he's probably in the top 500 maybe. Um, but these guys, yeah, it's, it's like, but whatever. You know, it's, I, you know, I mean, he grew up with... AWA in Winnipeg and everything like that. Um, but yeah, he says like Greg Gagne, but he doesn't say Bachwinkle. I guess maybe because Bachwinkle is the guy that he's like trying to get Kenny Omega to be. How long did this match go? 22 minutes and 59 seconds. All right. So by my calculations, for 15 minutes, these guys were both on fire. And they oh, had this, this great really match, good, and there were this was a really good match. There were there were one or two botched spots, but in general, it was just all sorts of great stuff. Tilt a whirl, Frankenstein'ers, leaping Frankenstein'ers off the top, counters from a top rope. Fa Actually, that was a botch right there. They fell the, 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 yeah, that thing. I think I don't know if it was supposed to be a Frankenstein or a sunset flip, but whatever it was, it was sort of in the middle. Well, at the end of the day, probably about fifteen minutes in, it appeared to me that Rich Swan hit his wall. And he got really tired. And from that point forward, like, Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega showed why he was the best wrestler of the last 10,000 years. Because oh, he was... Rich Swan is so tired, and Kenny Omega is like, we are going to have a great match for the last eight minutes. If you are dead, we are going to have a great match. And he pulled he... a great match that he... last eight minutes out of a very, very tired Rich Swan. He threw, I mean, it's like he didn't miss a beat. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's not even, it's not even that he did a bunch of moves. It's that he never stopped. It's like you would never, like, you noticed it, but it's like it wasn't, he, it was like, did they change the flow or was it the, what the flow was supposed to be? But it was like he never stopped and it was just build, 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 you know, right until, the finish and it was a you know by the end it was like a freaking you know classic match it, it was really so was like if you if you consider a match in an empty building with like a fake fake crowd noise i mean it was like it was it's about as good as it can be yeah it was so good given that there was nobody there yeah you know what's funny is i'm watching this and um you know, my cousin Sherry, uh, you know, when we were on the boat, um, we were, I don't, I don't actually don't think you, you weren't even there. Um, but it was, um, it was Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks were wrestling SCU and about five minutes and she's not, she doesn't know wrestling or anything like that. She knows, she knows boxing and MMA and all that, but she doesn't know wrestling. So, um, but she knows tennis very, actually that's probably the sport she knows the best. So about five minutes into the match, she points at Kenny Omega, and she just goes, that's Roger Federer. And I go, well, what do you mean by that? And he goes, well, he's so much better than everybody else. And I go, all of these guys are great. And he goes, but he is Roger Federer, you know? Um, so he's like, doing like about seven or eight minutes into this match, I'm going like, oh, my God, he's Roger Federer. Because he was so good in this match. I mean, not that he isn't always like that in a big match because he's one of the best big match wrestlers that there's ever been. But I guess what it was, well, I guess maybe because it was no fans and I'm watching this and it's feeling not that much different from watching a Kenny Omega match in front of 10,000 fans 
because it's just like everything is so solid and crisp and paced so perfectly and his athleticism you know he's got that step that's a little bit quicker than everybody else and it's just something to watch you know and and swan was really good you know and and until no, I mean, I thought I thought Swan had a, had a had a real good match. It was just a well, he was, and even when he got tired, like he was completely exhausted. But like he had to do stuff, and so you know, it took him like a really long time to get up there on the ropes. But once he got up there, if he had to do a Phoenix Splash, he did a Phoenix Splash. And really, the the two big botched spots were earlier in the match before anybody got tired. So he was tired. And he very much slowed down, but I mean, he still did what he had to do. And Kenny did all of the movement when which one wasn't doing any movement. And at the end of the day, they pulled it off. And Kenny hit the one winged angel, got the pin, obviously. Yeah. And uh, he is your uh, AAA, TNA, Impact, and AW World Heavyweight Champion at this moment. Yeah. So there you go. I thought the show was. Uh, Oh, you have to give it. A, you have to give it a thumbs up just for the main event. And and, because, and and here's the other thing, like as far as the rest of the card, like it was mostly good. You know, the rest of the card. Um. So yeah, I mean, I I, you know, not card of the year, but but very very good. And um, you know, I mean, big success, huge success. Uh. So, um, by impact standards, I don't know what that means as far as, you know, it didn't do thriller numbers. <laughs> I mean, anything like that. Not the thriller numbers are as high as people think, but but they're still those were still good numbers too. Or UFC, UFC, I'm sure UFC did really good last night too. That's why I was saying like I think it's pretty good they didn't go because that was a you know based on everything I've seen so far, it looks like UFC is gonna you know will have done a very good number. I mean about I mean I mean I would say no more than expected, you know, but but still you know it's still a very good number. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.